Well, we'll be talking more about North Korea in a moment. First, let's just focus on the Middle East. And for that, I'm joined by William Taylor, a former State Department official who's now with the U.S. Institute of Peace. You've just flown back, actually, today from uh, Afghanistan. Uh, President Trump said his top national priority was dealing with Islamic State. Is, is he getting the right way about it? Apparently, he's had some success uh, in Afghanistan on, on reducing the numbers uh, of the Islamic State fighters. And, and we've seen today, yesterday, that uh, this, this big bomb uh, focused on that without any civilian casualties that, casualties that we know of so far. Um, so th that's, a, that's a strong step. Uh, he gave his generals, I think, 30 days to come up with a strategy, didn't he, to defeat Islamic State. What have we learned so far? Is it really just very similar to what Obama did, but with more cash? Uh, General McMaster, as your report indicated, is en route out there right now. Um, he's uh, well respected. He's spent a lot of time in Afghanistan, uh, knows it well, uh, knows the challenges. Uh, he's partway through a, uh, a review to come up with a new strategy. And we will see, I think, shortly what kind of strategy he comes up with. And just staying with Afghanistan, I mean, does that mean more troops? Because he has asked for a, a few thousand more, perhaps, not a huge surge. General Nicholson um, has asked uh, for several thousand more, not a surge, as you say, but some additional uh, troops that would allow him to put Americans down a, a layer or two in the Afghan army, the Afghan national uh, uh, forces. Uh, this would help them, the Afghan National Forces, do what they need to do. Um, uh, but I think General McMaster is going to evaluate that request. I don't think that decision has been made yet. Just moving across to the Middle East now, I mean, you, it's, it's a truism, isn't it, that you can't defeat Islamic State just militarily? I think that's very important. Uh, that's, that's the important question in Afghanistan as well as in, in Syria. Um, the Afghanistan situation is such that uh, there's a, a well-developed or a developing military strategy um, for the defeat of ISIS and trying to get control of Taliban. There needs to be, uh, this is what our sense was at the Institute of Peace, there needs to be a corresponding political strategy. They've got elections coming up. They have uh, negotiations possibly with the Taliban. Um, that needs to be integrated in with a stronger military. Yeah, but so much ground that had been taken by the coalition in Afghanistan has now been retaken by the Taliban who are fighting Islamic State. The Taliban are supporting uh, the, Islamic uh, the Islamic State in some sense. Um, we're getting back to where we were earlier, where the Taliban was providing uh, refuge, uh, support for terrorist organizations, including the Islamic State, uh, in Afghanistan. So we're focused on Islamic State, but also trying to figure out how we can either co-opt um, or defeat the Taliban. Okay, William Taylor, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much indeed. All right, thanks, Tim.